Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Um, can you take a minute and just acknowledge my natural hair? Can you just look at it? Like I love it. I really love it. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Babalwa Suzani. And if you have not subscribed to it, please do so. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay on my social media page I wrote um, it is obviously okay it is clear coating it is clear that my plans are not really far from what God has planned for me and by no means guys I was um, trying to limit God by that statement but that statement came from a good heart it came from um, me being happy that everything that I had planned, you know, I had successfully executed by the end of the year. And I said that understanding, you know, because we as people, we make our own plans. On the other side, God has his own plans regarding us, regarding our lives, you know. So me being able me being able to successfully execute you know my plans and reach my goals it it meant a lot for me and it actually meant that god is 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 happy and is not against my plans hence i wrote that okay and then 2019 i had declared the year to be a year of financial um, breakthrough for me a year of financial stability for me you know and obviously with such you have to have a plan you know you have to have a plan on how you're gonna reach to that level on how you're gonna reach to that goal may it be a, a short or long-term goal but at the end of the day you have to reach it okay so um basically that's the topic of the day you know um I'm going to take you through like what I plan on doing to reach my um, financial stability. What I normally do, yes. So, I first first thing, guys, I, 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 I write down all my expenses and I obviously attach the cost to it. And with that being said, because I save on a monthly basis. So obviously my savings are included in my monthly expenses because it's a monthly thing that I do, you know. And then, guys, guys. And then, um, I obviously name my savings because I know what I'm saving for. Um, so I would normally, okay, as I'm saving, I would uh, title my savings uh, car or title my savings furniture, you know, because I know that's what I want to buy with my savings. And in fact, I, I, I'm actually very specific with that because if I save for furniture, I know what I want to buy, you know, I know what that furniture is. If I want to buy couches, whatever. But I'm very specific when it comes to that because I, I know what I want and I don't want to buy it on credit. I want to buy it cash. You know, some things I just uh, prefer not buying on credit. I just want to buy them and save for the next one. It doesn't matter because I know I'm not in a rush or there's no rush for me to have everything all at once. Hence, I, I save for it and then I buy it. And then if maybe I was unable to execute that, like for example, me saving for furniture, if I was unable to buy that furniture, I'll state the reasons why I couldn't buy the furniture so that I know. And if I had used that money for something else, obviously maybe something came up and then I had to use that money, I would state what I did as the reason. And then I'll also write now when I plan on doing it, you know, being maybe um, April, I'll do it. 
the reason why I do that, I give reason for that and give new date for execution is because I want to make sure that I do it. Understand? I don't want to easily forget about it or not know when I'm going to do it, but I want to make sure that I actually do it. Hence, I give the reasons and give it a new, a new date for execution. And then I try by all means to stick to my budget with me guys like I love budgeting especially I don't play when it comes to money like a lot of people would say oh my are you very stingy and oh I'm actually not <laughs> I don't know but I'm that one person who likes planning and I don't I try by all means to to stick to my budget even though some sometimes I don't but I try uh, I try to stick to budget and then like a new thing that I have started doing is um, now I also save for cases of emer emergency because I didn't save for that now I save a portion of my money for title it emergency so that I don't get to use my other money for unforeseen things or things that like really need like immediate attention so that's the other thing that I do I save for emergencies yeah and then basically that and I obviously categorize my expenses to say whether they are needs wants or luxury and to be actually quite honest with you guys most of my money goes towards savings like um, in fact I have always been that person that saves I've always been a fan of saving and as I grow older the zeal to want to save it it, it grows and it continues so it's basically that and I will like from this video, I want you guys to take mm, that you need to save. And if maybe you are someone that does not know what you are saving for, maybe just save then as uh, just maybe save so that it can be a habit that you are getting used to. And I also want to encourage you guys to not spend money that you don't have you know and not to buy things that you don't need and the other reason which i feel is very important for saving is that you won't have a lot of money to spend because if you are someone that has a lot of money just in jail, chilling in your bank would easily spend it on things that you don't need you easily spend it on unnecessary things so basically that is all that i have for you guys on this video so yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if maybe you have another um way that you use for for budgeting or saving or whatever that concerns your finances and you would like to share it with us please do so um and yeah we are basically the community that supports and share you know because we are i believe working towards the same um, vision of wanting to help other sisters yes i'll see you guys on my next video enjoy your day